Agriculture is fast gaining pace as an alternative source of livelihood for farmers in the northern region. Irrigation facilities originally meant for dry season farming are gradually being turned into fish production centers. Agriculture experts believe there is a huge potential to increase agricultural patronage if the various assemblies will engage experts during the construction and rehabilitation of dams to make them suitable for agriculture activity. Peter Kwame Akpaglo is an agriculture specialist with ADEP. Well, what we need really is to protect the, our water bodies. For instance, you can see that where we're standing is very bare and any uh, material, when it rains, anything at all is washed into the dam. And since this water is very stagnant, uh, you know, if any pollutant, anything that enters it stays in there. That's why we have to design the dam such in a, in a way that it could hold a good qu uh, quality water for fish production and also sometimes to spill uh, the water. Set, uh, what it, it, it implies is that we should have a, a gateways for the water to be open. Some of them don't have opening. Canals attached to them for the, some of the water to be spilled. And such dams are not recommended for fish farming. So much work would have to be done if we really want to promote fish farming. A food security and environmental sustainability specialist with the Canadian Feed the Children project Dr. Sohil Han said sanitary conditions at dam sites needs to be looked at critically because of the health implication. Sanitation needs to be looked at uh, critically because it may have also both effect, effect at the f uh, fishing, fish habitat as well as also human health. Because for example, when they are applying fish feeds or other chemical, they need to take proper precaution of uh, environmental uh, like health sanitation issues but also when they will they will uh, apply those things that also need some uh, some monitoring system of water for example water testing that requires so that they will know that what kind of chemical contents are there that may affect human health or fish habitat the upper east regional director for fisheries Ebenezer Willington appeal for private sector support for a hatchery in the region to minimize the cost for transporting fingerlings to the 210 dam sites for fish farming. From Bongo, Noah Nash for Vasawa News.